Today I'd like to show you how I'm decoding this HLS stream using a video decoder. So if you're interested in learning how I'm doing this, then stick around for this video. Okay, so what I want to start with is just a quick explanation, a simple explanation of what is HLS. HLS stands for HTTP Live Streaming. If you can see on the screen, I have the Wikipedia page up, and HTTP Live Streaming was developed. It's an adaptive bitrate streaming protocol that was developed by Apple in two th and it was released in 2009. Basically, I mean, you could read through this document here. There's a lot of information about it if you really want to dive into HLS. But basically, it takes all the HTTP file information and breaks it up into smaller chunks. And it also supports low latency and things like that. So again, if you want to read more, I'll put the link to this Wikipedia page down in the video description. Let's get on. I want to show you how I'm decoding the HLS video. Okay, so I'm signed into my video decoder. And for this example, I'm specifically using the KiloView D350. It's pretty straightforward and easy to pull in the HLS URL into this decoder. In fact, I'm pretty sure what I'm showing you today can apply to other brands as well. Also, before we get started with that, if you're interested in learning how to take a video and encode it into HLS format, let me know down in the comments below if you'd like to see a video covering that. All right, back to the topic for today. It all starts with a .m3u8 URL. So I already have one copy to my clipboard from the video that I showed you earlier. We're just going to simply add that streaming URL to this decoder. Well, let's click the add button. We're going to add the source. We're going to give it a name. I'm just going to call it HLS stream. I'm going to come over and pick the source type for today's example. Since it's an HTTP URL, I'm going to click HTTP. But if it was a secure URL, then we would just select HTTPS. So let's click on HTTP and let me just paste in the URL from the feed and we'll go ahead and say OK. And now I have it down here. And if I just bring it up to my preview window, we should see the stream appear momentarily. And there you go. So I'm actually streaming what you're seeing here. I'm actually streaming on another computer on a laptop here in front of me on my desk. Again, if you'd like to see how I'm encoding the video that's on this laptop right here to get it into this decoder here up on the screen that you're seeing, let me know down in the comments. All right, so you might be wondering, what's the use case for decoding HLS? Like, why do it, right? Well, a couple of things come to mind. Number one, you can take it and run it out the HDMI port of the decoder or the SDI port of the decoder if supported into a video switcher, such as the ATEM series switchers. Or how about using an embedded video player, an embedded HLS video player on your website so that you can stream live to your own website. If you'd like to see how that's done, again, let me know down in the comments below. And if you'd like to see more content like this, please click the video here on the screen. Thank you so much for watching.